This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Stream 14, 14-AX laptop computer, and we're going to show you how to replace a screen on the HP Stream 14, 14-AX. All right, uh, before we start, there's a couple versions of the HP Stream 14. This is the 14-AX version, and the way to figure that out is on the palm rest. There's a label, and it says 14-AX010WM. The other way to figure that out is on the back, there's some writing, and in the lower right-hand corner, there is 14 dash AX. Uh, for the older versions of the 14 dash AX, there may be an older type of screen that has 30 pins instead of 40 pins. Okay, let's talk about the tools that we're going to use. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. Then we have a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. A pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck a metal spudger to pry things open, and a hobby knife or X-Acto knife to lift up adhesive tape. All right, so uh, to get to the screen, uh, we need to remove the plastic bezel. That's the frame around the screen. And this particular one does not have any screws. There are mod older models of this laptop or similar looking laptops that have screws behind screw covers, hiding behind sc screw covers down here and down here, but this one doesn't have any. So in order to remove the screen bezel, we just need to snap it off. We put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and start lifting up and out and the bezel should snap off. So we go we go around the screen assembly in this way. And then on the bottom we do the same thing. There is some adhesive on the bottom, so we'll go just a little bit slower. And what I'm doing there is putting my finger between the plastic bezel and the adhesive tape. We don't want to lift up the adhesive tape. We just want to separate the plastic bezel from the adhesive and that just takes a little while. Just take your time doing this and then we lift up the screen bezel and put it on the side. Okay, next one we want to do is separate the screen itself from the screen assembly and to do that we use our PH1 electronic screwdriver to remove four screws. Two on top and two on the bottom. We want to remove the inner screws and not the outer screws, and same on this side, and the inner screws here and here, so four screws total. So when we start to, be, to engage the screws, we want to push pretty tight at first so as not to strip the screw and put the screws on the side like so. Okay, so we go around, and on the bottom there's one, and there's two. So we remove the four screws and when we do this we want to have the screen assembly tilted back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall down when we remove it. And then we lay the screen down on the screen assembly. Okay, and then what we want to do is loosen up this cable so we have more room to manipulate the screen. And the next thing we want to do is lift up the adhesive tape that's securing the connector. So we use our hobby knife to lift up a corner of the adhesive tape. And then use our fingertips to grab it. So we want to maybe do a little bit more to get a good grip on it. And we're still not getting a good grip on it. Okay, and then we lift up the adhesive tape slowly and pull it back. And then when we do that, we grab the connector and pull the connector back like so. Okay, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector. So when you reconnect it, slide it back in 
and then you feel a knot here too quick. So let's get a close up of the connection. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So we remove the connector again and take a look at this screen. It's a 14 inch EDP standard HD resolution screen with a glossy finish. So uh, most of the cases you will get a screen with a glossy finish but sometimes there is a matte finish so you gotta specify specifically which one you want. The part number for this particular screen is N140BGA-EB3. Most likely you will get a screen that uh, has a different part number but it should look exactly the same and it should have a 30 pin connector. There's an older version of the screen that has a larger 40 pin connector. So this is an EDP screen, which means it has a smaller 30 pin connector. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that on the palm rest, there's a mistake. They said it's a 14.6 inch diagonal HD display. Actually, it's a 14.0 inch diagonal HD display. I don't know if it's a typo or what, but this is a 14.0 screen. Okay, you can get the screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what we offer is free shipping in the United States, uh, two year warranty on the, on the part and uh, free email technical support. If you live outside of the United States, we can ship to your country and when you do that, just uh, go through our regular checkout procedure and select your country. To buy the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com and there will be a form for you to fill out on the front. You just specify the laptop model and that will guide you to buy the right screen online. So once you do get the screen in, make sure it looks like the old screen. Reconnector, reconnect the connector over here like I showed you and uh, reroute the cable back down here and put the screen back in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom and then snap the screen bezel back on. Okay, that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.